Problem. You rent your apartment, and if you drill a bunch of holes in the wall to mount your TV, they're going to take your security deposit. Solution? Build your own wall. Put it in front of the landlord's wall and drill to your heart's content. Not a hard project, just follow these instructions and you'll be all set. All right, step one, measure and cut your wood. Step two, measure your wood again. All right, let's make a sandwich. First layer, you need some drywall. Next layer, plywood for strength. Now we're gonna make the frame on the back, which is gonna supply the entire structure for the thing. Two end pieces. And now we're going to put in the longer pieces that go in between the two ends. This is when you find out if you measured right. You want to make them exactly 16 inches apart at the middles of each board. The reason being is you want them to be the same width apart as the studs on your wall. Because if you're going to line them up with the wall, you can put one stud into another stud. It's much stronger than just screwing into drywall. Don't do that. So we're going to clamp these together to keep them from moving apart, but you don't want to clamp them too hard because you'll ding your drywall, and then you have to spackle it. Now that you've got everything laid out, time to start screwing it together. You want to countersink the screws because you're going to put some spackle over them, so you don't want them to be flush with the surface or else you're not going to be able to get no smooth sand. Now it's time to spackle, which means take this putty, smear it over the holes we made in the board so that when we paint it, it's smooth. See how it's pink? It actually dries white. All right, so our spackle's dry, which means the next step is to sand it. And basically what you want to do is you want to smooth out any bumps you left with the spackle. Our next stop is to drill the holes that we're going to drop the cords through. So this is the hole saw that came with that grommet kit. This mark right here represents where the bottom center of the TV is going to be. I want to be just above that. So there you have a nice clean hole. So you got your hole for your TV. Next step is to make a hole for the audio gear and video gear to send its cables from one to the other. Same deal as before. Cut a big hole. And there are some little butterflies that come out on the end and keep it from falling out. It's a right, nice finished look. It looks like an actual real install. So there are almost as many different mounts as there are kinds of TVs. I like one by Philips called Simply Straight. These rollers sit in these tracks and the TV automatically levels itself. Between the leveling you did with this, gravity does the rest. It always hangs straight and that's the best. Hey, look at that, it's magic. 16 inches apart. And that is 4.25 down. When this screw goes through, it's gonna go through drywall, then it's gonna go through plywood, and it's gonna lodge itself into a two by four. There's no need for an anchor in there. So all I need to do is drill out a big enough hole that this won't split my two by four and then drive it directly into the wood. Because I used math to lay this thing out, I know that these are both gonna go directly into solid wood. There's one. And there's two. The next step is to make it look pretty and to put it on your wall. That means you paint it and then you line it up with two studs on your wall and you take the four inch screws and you screw directly through the entire assembly into the wall. Crown molding. Don't just leave it behind the wall. First of all, your fake wall won't sit flush. Second of all, it just looks really cool to have this thing finished and perfect. The great advantage of this setup is that you don't have to worry about the slack in your cables. There's no making loops and tying them off and trying to hide them behind something. All the slack is behind the wall in here. 
I've measured it so I know the TV's bottom's gonna be right here so you're not gonna see any of this. I got my plugs plugged in, my cables plugged in, and I'm ready to hang it on the wall. You put that one there, that one there, it just slides on those rollers and you're good. And that's it, a little bit of elbow grease, some readily available construction materials and an afternoon spent playing with power tools and you've got a nice, clean, custom install and your landlord's not gonna kill you when she sees what you've done with the place. Feeling wired yet? Subscribe.